All right, what's up guys? I'm the Sewer Sloth, doing another video out of my archive here. Uh, this is my third attempt at trying to get this to go quick and not have a cat knock the fucking camera. It fucked my entire life up. Uh, anyway, we're doing 11 records today, and I'll try to go as quick as I can. And we'll be listening to Midian, Age, or Age Eternal. This came out from Land of Smiles, which is now defunct. This is 2007. This is so fucking, such a glossy fucking jacket. Anyway, um, this has Mike from Yob, also from, he's also in Lumbar, Vol, uh, and, I don't know, a couple other things. Anyway, I think also in this is uh, Will, yeah, Will from Indian, another great fucking sludgy band. So yeah, 11 records. We'll get into them, go kind of quick. Uh, first band doesn't need a lot of description. We got Agaloc, Marrow of the Spirit. This is 2012 reissue on Profound Lore. So we got a clear two LPs. Um, yeah, I don't know what, I mean, everyone who's in to metal at some point has listened to Agalock. They're just, you know, doom and gloom, folky black metal. Um, it's got this pretty nice lyric book that I'll flip through pretty quick. It's got pictures of these sad guys standing in sad places. I mean, presumably looking at really sad stuff off the camera. Um, yeah, I'd, I admittedly need to get more Agalock in my collection. I slept on the box set when it came out. Um, yeah, second LP is just the same thing, so. Um, next is the Mantle bootleg. Technically, bootleg by Growl Records. Um, these weren't acknowledged by Agalock for whatever reason. I don't know if it was, uh, what's his name? John, or whatever. What did it fucking whatever the fuck his name is. Um, I tend not to read a ton about this band because, yeah, that dude doesn't have a ton of great things to say, in my opinion. Um, this was limited to 500 on Clear 2, 2LP, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I might honestly end up buying the bootlegs because they're still cheaper than the reissues, last I looked. Um, but yeah. I don't know, that's next, next on my list um, of things to fill in my collection with. Um, there's a poster of, I believe it's just the cover art. Yeah. It's like fucking down. Um, there, Majestic Beast. And there's the second LP, it's just a printed insert. It's on clear as well. Yeah, they're a great band. Uh, probably after I finish, once I get my Godflesh reissues dealt with, I'll probably get these. Is that, is that a download code or some shit? No, no, it's just a hype card, head card thing. Anyway, uh, the next band is a Canadian band. I just had their one, this is their only full length. They have a shit ton of splits and a couple EPs by themselves, but it's Anna, self-titled. Uh, this was the 2011 repress on Black Banana Records. Not a lot to say about the actual physical media here, but it's really crusty punk with um, like doom punk. It's good stuff. Um, I got it in Ranch Records in Salt Lake City. Shout out to the fucking best punk store in Salt Lake Shitty. Um, one of the best punk stores I've been to, in my opinion. All right, but it's another here nor there. Uh, next three are gonna be from Alaric, 
this is their self-titled about 20 bucks spin it's on single LP black wax so I'm not gonna pull that out he's got a printed insert with lyrics Alaric play a pretty cool brand of like doomy like doomy goth punk if that makes any sense uh, this album's a bit fuzzier uh, quite a bit heavier than their newest release uh, I, I really got into these guys because this album has a solid amoebic sound not quite as fast as some amoebic stuff but definitely has that amoebic feel to it and uh, next one we got is the split they did with Atriarch also on 20 bucks spin three tracks from each guy or each band and uh, Atriarch's from Portland and they're more like a much heavier uh, doom punk again like punk band with some serious doom and death metal uh, style going on in it uh, I have their records too they're probably a few videos away like right over here somewhere like in there but here's their 2016 release End of Mirrors they put this out on near out recordings this is much like I said this is much more on the goth rock side than their self-titled it's still really good but if you listen to the self-titled and you love that you might still dig this but it's not gonna blow you away um, I enjoyed it a lot but it's probably not for everyone anyway we got a download code with that one. I actually didn't pull it out of this for some reason. I usually pull them out and set them aside, but here you go. Yeah, let me know if you can read that. If not, I'll put it in the comments. Once again, say thank you. We've got Albino Python, The Doomed and the Damned, Easy Rider Records. This was 2013. This is the test press, limited to 30. I have number 21. This is the uh, this is the normal jacket you get with the standard. Um, but yeah, this is just straightforward stoner dim. If you like Acid King, it'll be like listening to a off-brand Acid King album. Not talking down to the band or anything, but female vocals, stoner dim lyrics on that side. Um, yeah, I somehow managed to snag this. I think that was before the fucking collector reseller market is turned into the fucking shit show that it is today. I just don't even deal with it anymore. Even if I have the option, most of the time I'll just get the standard black box, unless it's like a band I really, really am into. I just don't care anymore. Um, I'd even sell this and just buy a standard version. Like, I just, I don't know. The collector appeal is kind of burnt out on me on a lot of things, but that's, I don't know, a discussion for a later time. Last four are all from the same band. We've got Alceste from France with, this is their 2005 EP, Le Secret. This is like a 2011 reissue. Um, out of 500 on, I think, I think all these come out on Prophecy Productions, yeah. This, I believe, is the original artwork, but this is the printed insert. And we've got this sharp blue record. Um, if you haven't heard Alcest before, it's... I don't know. It's a guy who's played a ton of black metal, but doesn't want to play black metal in this project. Um, it's Shoegaze, post-punk... Dream Gaze, Dream Pop, I don't know. You can, lots of shit. With some, like, remnants and tinges of black metal here and there. You can hear it, it's, sometimes in vocals, there's some high shrieks and shit like that. But we got, um, uh, their first full length I have. I gave my copy of uh, Souvenirs to a friend who gave me some records I really wanted. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away. But anyway, you got Ekales de Lune, another gatefold. 
uh, single LP though poster uh, with the album art. It's cool. Um, Nij is the brain behind this band. He's also in uh, Testing Noir and On the Sewers in Forgotten Woods. Um, only other thing I have by Nij is On the Sewers. Uh, haven't gone, gotten any Forgotten Forest or anything. But this one comes on clear. And let's see. Oh, no, there's no lyrics or anything. Okay. This is another reissue. Same label. Um, but yeah, this is probably my favorite release that I have next to Souvenirs. It's it's great, just I mean, the vocals are ethereal, light. I read somewhere that he got a lot of inspiration for this from like when he was a either it's like the he was a child and he had fairies visit him in dreams and stuff like that. I don't know. It's good stuff though. Anyway. Next we have Les Voyages de La Aime. La Aime? I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway, another gatefold single LP. Uh, this came out, uh, another reissue. So I think all the reissues came out in 2012. This one was limited to 500 on that same blue that Secret's on. And uh, has the printed insert with lyrics and another poster. Uh, this is the CD or original album artwork for the album. And the last one we have was the one I had the hardest time getting into. It's Shelter. I mean, this album, I mean, I did not like it at first, but now I'm pretty okay with it. My wife likes listening to it, too. But this is just like almost like dream pop. It's like a pop rock shoegaze album. Um, not that it was bad, I just kind of had expectations for what I was going to get with this record, and it took me a while to get over that. That's the printed insert. And just like a Kales, it comes on clear. One LP. The choices are bright blue or clear. That's all you get. You fucking, you like it. And yeah, it just has a poster. Uh, that looks like an advertisement for fucking Bonnaroo. Yeah. It looks like a fucking, one of those inspirational posters you see in like a yoga studio. Anyway. That's it. That's all I got for now. Uh, if you watched it, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want, or don't. Cool. Later.